Welcome back, all you Myers Briggs and Dunder Mifflin lovers, to my The Office Characters Personality Types Analysis videos. That's a long title, but the video will be even longer than that, so buckle up. In this video, we're going to analyze the personalities of both Jim and Pam, who I think are almost, if not as definitional to the show, as Michael Scott himself. Let's begin with Jim Halpert. Jim, like Michael, is marked by his creative actions. I took a box of Dwight's stationery. So from time to time, I send Dwight faxes from himself, from the future. One of his key characteristics is his exceptional pranking skills. We see numerous examples of this. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not. What is going on? What are you doing? Where is my desk? That is weird. Jim? What's up, buddy? This is not funny. Why is my stuff in here? Wow, that's weird. We see that Jim has a desire and an inclination to express himself by applying creativity to the world around him. The thing about Jim is when he's excited about something like the Office Olympics, he gets really into it and he does a really great job. But the problem with Jim is that he works here, so that hardly ever happens. Here we get insight into Jim's behavior and what he's inclined to, and, as a result, who he is. And based on these actions, I think that Jim's primary go-to function is N.E. Extroverted Intuition. Yes, so I tried to kiss me. What? And I didn't tell anyone because I'm not really sure how I feel about it. That is not true. Redact it. Redact it! Well, I'm not actually making a formal complaint, I just really think we should talk about it. Jim's extroversion is based on the fact that he understands how things work. He knows logically how his creative actions will affect those around him, which is what makes him so effective. Okay, I want a copy on my desk by the end of the day, or you will receive a full desagulation. What's a dis... what's that? Oh, you don't want to know. Here is a good example of this. I am going to have to fix you, manage you to, on a more personal scale, a, a more micro form of management. Jim, what is that called? micro Jim. Boom. Yes. Now Jim is going to be the... Notice how Jim understands exactly what he's doing and why. He knows that Michael will believe that. Now Jim is going to be the... After knowing Michael for years, he understands how he works and therefore what things he will fall for. Michael, I like the sound of your voice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy $1 million worth of paper products today. <laughs> See how it's done? Thank you very much. I believe this indicates introverted thinking, which constantly tries to build a system of how things work, including the people around us. Michael stands in the front of the boat and says that he's king of the world within the first hour, or I give you my next paycheck. I'm king of the world! <laughs> Woo! His use of reasoning allows him to predict what someone will do or what creative application, aka prank, will work on that person. I believe this indicates that Jim's secondary function is TI, introverted thinking, which would make him an ENTP. Now let's move on to Pam. But before we do that, I'd like to ask a question. What makes Jim and Pam such a great couple? Is it because they're so similar? Sometimes when watching The Office, I find myself envious of their relationship and how compatible they seem. Is that true for you too? Do you also want to find your Jim or Pam? If so, then I would like to tell you about a new app called TypeMatch. It's a dating app that matches based on MBTI type compatibility. Personality type accounts for about 50% of compatibility between people. So the goal of TypeMatch is to help you find a relationship based on a deep psychological connection TypeMatch has developed a personality test and a matching algorithm to connect you with people that complement your personality. Matches are arranged by their compatibility with you and include customizable descriptions of a person's personality type. It is launching January 2020 on iOS and Android, and for now you can check out the link to the website in the description, take the personality test, see a demo of the app, and sign up to be the first to know when it launches. You can also check it out on Instagram at TypeMatch for more information. So go find the right person for you, who's everything you are and everything you're not. He's everything I'm not and everything I am. It's a whole package. 
Anyway, let's talk about Pam's personality type. I hate to say that a lot of what we saw about Jim applies to Pam, but it's kind of true. They are pretty similar, but I don't think she is an ENTP. In light of what we saw about Jim and Michael, I think we can see that Pam is much more introverted in comparison with them. Whereas Michael and Jim project out, Pam is reserved. Her inclination is not to express herself outwardly. So many memories in this old gym. Pretending to have PMS so I didn't have to play volleyball. Pretending to have PMS so I didn't have to play basketball. Those were the days. Here we see who she is. She doesn't primarily seek stimulation, which is what extroversion is. She is content to keep to herself and to explore the things she enjoys. Art. Well, she was totally Miss Artsy Fartsy in high school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pam is passionate about art. She seeks to understand how it works. Look at this one. Wow. You nailed it. She understands art in an analytical way. So it plays on the infinity thing without being obvious, yeah, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd love to do like a color version, just bring a little color I to like it a lot. Bit. It's clear and subtle at the same time. It's really good. You have a real talent for this stuff. Thanks. This is characteristic of introverted thinking, which seeks to create a logical system of how something works. This does not only apply to when she does art. Why did you hide behind anonymity? Because I was scared. But if that's my only crime, is it a worse crime than leaving a filthy microwave? Just clean it up yourself if it bothers you so much. It's not my mess. It would have taken less time to clean it up than to write all those notes. That's not the point. Notice there how Pam uses reasoning and logic in her argumentation, which points to introverted thinking. I was watching E! and I saw Will Smith outside the Chinese theater, and oh my god, he looks so good. Pam, translate! She's talking about the handprints that celebrities make in the cement. For all these reasons, I think her primary function is T.I. And we know already that she loves doing art, so she also expresses herself creatively, along with the fact that she enjoys pulling pranks with Jim. Put all those things together and what do you get? You get INTP for Pam Beasley. I know Pam pretty well, so one of the things that she likes is pranks. There you have it yet again. All the reasons for why I think Jim is an ENTP and Pam INTP. The Beats Motel. The Beats Motel. That is, wow. The Embassy Beats. Radish in. How are you doing this? I don't know. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, keep observing, analyzing, and typing people. Totally fine. See ya. Everything is going to be totally fine. Sorry. Um, are you free for dinner tonight? Yes. All right. Then it's a date. I'm sorry, what was the question?